Hello. Well, let's talk about this idea of makerspaces. Now, this actually would work a little bit better if it was actually conversation. You know, I give this presentation at uh, workshops, conferences kind of idea. And the conversations uh, lead it, take it different places. But we're not at a conference or a workshop right now, so we'll just uh, talk about some things. So there is my Twitter handle, and there is a Google link to this presentation. So, makerspaces. Uh, Dale Doherty says it, and I believe it too, that we are all makers. We're born that way. Um, that's how we explore nature, explore the world around us, find the world around us. We put things together, we build, we make, we create, we see what can happen. So, I started off the, pre the session by giving everyone some popsicle sticks, some rubber bands, some LEDs, and a battery or two. And just, you know, just make something. Uh, let's make something from your content area. Let's make something that you're feeling at the moment. Um, just to give you some 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 hands-on explorers said, making can be inexpensive stuff. Those are cheap materials. I really believe also the most important makerspace is the one between the ears. It's about a mindset. It's about what you're going to do, what you're going to think, what you're going to create. Um, it's a mentality. That's the important part, really, that we create that. Um, because it can be any physical space, but if you don't have the mentality, the mindset to do it, it's not going to work. It's about creating some independence or as Daniel Pink says, some autonomy. Independence doesn't necessarily mean they're doing everything individually by themselves, no groups. Um, cause often we do things with peers and we work best with peers, whether we're working on our own and bouncing ideas off peers and coming back with things. It's about play. Uh, just being able to have fun and enjoy it and create. Maybe that first thing you make is just horrible, but you, but you're playing and creating and, and 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 building up a base of knowledge. That's the important thing. You can't make something great until you've made a whole bunch of bad things. And again, the bad things you got failure. Um, you're gonna build things that don't work, and you got to get used to that. I mean, the for, you know Edison, you know the ten thousand ways to not make a light bulb concept. Um, it, it builds from there. Uh, tinkering is massively important. I don't know how our society has gotten away from this idea of tinkering, uh, just fiddling with stuff, just playing with things. Uh, you know, the idea that tinkering and that's some people actually talk about in steam and STEM that the T did not stands for tech, not, not technology. Uh, cause there's technology in everything, everywhere. Everything is technology. Um, but the a mentality of tinkering that you're just gonna you're gonna play with it you're gonna fiddle with it and that's important and, and all that falls into the the realm of creativity that that's what we want to we want to foster creativity because you can't just turn creativity on like hey walk into the english classroom now i want you to write this poem well if you didn't have the brain going and a creative mindset already man how are you going to write the poem in the next 30 minutes and that's crazy that we ask kids to do that. Um, write a paper on this, write a poem on this, make this, do, um, answer this. And we haven't had them open their minds and have their minds going. So you got to do that in places. And that's what maker helps. Again, creativity, creativity just flows outward, just, just uh, grows. Once you get it going somewhere, you, you got to go, you, you, you can use it in other places and in other ways. That's kind of what I'm trying to show with this side that it's growing, it's building, it's, it's changing. Um, and that's, that's how creativity works. You don't just turn it on here. You got to have, you know, get a flow going. All the benefits of creativity. Sylvia Duckworth made this awesome um, sketch note from a Ken Robinson uh, presentation. Um, it's multidisciplinary. You express yourself, it promotes thinking, it reduces stress, anxiety, your, your, your happy zone, you're having fun, uh, sense of purpose, accomplishment, pride, uh, link it with your passion, um, focus. I mean, it's all these things, uh, risk taking, uh, iteration, massively important for, for uh, this idea of tinkering and making and learning. Um, it, it's an innovation. You, you don't make something new and wild without ever having made something old and mashing things up. Uh, lifelong learning. That's what we want. Maker also helps these six seeds of education, which are trying to say are so massively important for um, our students 
and it really does foster them communication talk with someone about hey here's my project here's how it's going what's happening or promoting your ethic collaboration um create i mean it's just it gets into all those how in many ways it's little ways uh laura fleming has this idea of what a makerspace space it's just a you know, learning environment really but learning environment that allows these things taking play and exploration there are different ways again makerspace not just a room in your building um it's got to be out throughout the whole building throughout the whole it's got to be that mindset here someone took what i imagine was a trophy case took computer part put it there and said hey build it so the kids stop by and put some things together as, as on their time i put these up at my doors nice little magnetic things uh for kids that just create do some criteria here's some things put them together see what you get just get your mind going um uh, the biggest problem i have with that is, is the pieces all disappeared um so uh just putting up a uh, graffiti board where people can write and draw yeah you got to pay attention to it you got to see what the kind of things they're writing and drawing uh but just give them an avenue to op to open up some expression uh some people talk about putting up a board of what would you like to learn and what would you like to teach someone and to get some things going there and put some links to people. Uh, just some magnetic pieces on things. Just cut out shapes, get them on a magnetic strip, let people put things together. Uh, some Velcro and some PVC. Some people have done this with like a ball, uh, marble roll, marble slide kind of thing. And that's a nice thing to do. They got to make connections and make different patterns and pass through marble to go down and through. Velcro on carpet, PVC. Not too expensive. Leg, a light bright kind of board. Uh, that takes a little bit more to build. But it's just, it's an idea. Where, what do you want to put out there? You know, get scattered throughout your, your school. Just a bunch of tubes and tape. Let kids start building things. You know, again, it takes, it'll, this won't take a little bit of space. So you have some space where you could do something like this. Can you afford a button maker? To just let kids make buttons, whatever button, whatever phrase, whatever saying, a book or whatever. Um, maybe that, again, you can tie it to some curriculum there. Okay, hey, make a make a button promoting this book or promoting uh, one of the key characters of the book. Just gives us some hands on, gives us some physical thing. I saw this at Ingenuity Cleveland. Um, they had just painted these boxes, so now they can interchange the boxes and turn them so that you got the, you know, the head of a fairy and the bottom of a lizard or just all sorts of things. It's just, it's, again, it's just getting, letting the mind open up. Can you put a green screen in your room, uh, your room, in your hall, somewhere in the building? The kids can just do some stuff with green screen. In. There's some nice uh, makerspace carts out there. Build your own or, you know, buy some that you can just put all sorts of stuff in them. They have like a mobile maker space, maybe a lunchtime deal where they can just have some lunchtime projects, put out some challenges at lunchtime. And here's the card of stuff you could do it with. Don't forget outdoor. Outdoor maker space is very important. We're all, we all love getting our hands dirty. Okay, so you got to wash your hands. Big deal. You know, you're going to get messy. Learning is messy. You know, creative space, that's important. Explore, tinker, discover. Mitchell Resnick talks about the creative learning spiral, which is imagine, create, play, share, reflect, imagine, create, play. Just just, just spirals and, and iterates. And it's really, it's also the, the, the design process. It's actually how we learn. Idea, rapid prototype, play with the prototype, share the prototypes with people, get some lessons, learn from them. Get the next version going in your mind, prototype it, go back, you know, just go back through this process. And that is learning. I really think that if you build things physically, it will anchor the learning in your brain. So the content you want to get, if you have to make a physical artifact, you know, we're doing King Arthur. Hey, what, what could you, what could you make that uh, shows the ideas of King Arthur? And then they got to explain that. Whatever they want to make, a, a crown, a table, a sword, a, whatever. Make it out of whatever materials you've got you want. And everyone can use different materials. They don't have to use the same stuff. Again, it is just a culture and a mindset of creativity, design, tinkering, thinking. Um, and that's why the, the most important space is the one between the ears. There is this uh, beginning makerspace planning worksheet. So if you go to the presentation and click on that, that's a link to it. 
uh, by Laura Fleming. Um, out of the box and beyond Legger was a couple of Laura Fleming articles. Out of the box are article about some different maker spaces and different places, not just schools. And beyond Legos about the idea of creating some walls around your school that aren't just Lego walls because Lego walls can be pretty expensive. A couple books that help you work with these ideas. Uh, Sylvie and Gary wrote Invent to Learn, a nice idea. And Big Makerspace Projects, Colleen and Aaron, Renora Dice book. And then, of course, Laura Fleming book. And she's got another book out, too, about maker, making spaces. And then Mitch Resnick's Lifelong Kindergarten. Nice book that really says, you know, learning should be projects, passion, pairs, and play. You know, it's about, about creativity. And we need to get back to those ideas, not just in kindergarten, but in all grades. Makers are going to build the future. If we get rid of the makers, our future is going to be pretty bleak. Get yeah, my contact information if you want to have more conversations about this idea of maker. That's what I want to do is help people talk about maker.